So we just want to give um, a just general overview on the pack of the impact and the results of the project, the Friends project. The Friends project as such was implementing in four main countries uh, and uh, are Portugal, UK, Belgium and Italy. These are the partners of the, of the project. And uh, actually, it involved uh, in the old countries more than 1,350 students in the training, more than 700 teachers, and more than 300 parents. And this means that basically uh, in the four implementing countries there were in the involvement of more than 30 clusters of schools and schools. Involves beyond, involving also some uh, an expansion with some organization working with migrants and with prisons. And so we could say that uh, actually if we look at the overall implementation, one common feature in all countries was a great uh, predominance, uh, a great participation of primary schools. There were many children learning and uh, so this was very interesting and overall uh, the countries. But uh, we wanted to go uh, a little bit more on some specific feature of in the implementation of the different countries. So um, if we look at Portugal that has already was participating in the Europe project that Maria Rita mentioned before, uh, there was a huge expansion of the implementation in the old territory of Portugal. All the little stars are uh, schools and cluster of schools. And um, it's uh, been quite strong in Algarve region in the south, but also in Lisbon, in the Lisbon area, in the north of Port Portugal, uh, also reaching the island of Madeira. And that we were thinking there are many few features that uh, can explain this huge expansion in Portugal. One is that it was, again, participating in the Europe project before, so this was the occasion to consolidate and to uh, take uh, advantage of the momentum of that um, implementation. The other one is that we're four uh, very important partners, public and private, in the project that have been uh, working in a team very closely, and that have been the University of Algarve, that was leader of the, is leader of the evaluation, the uh, Parents Association of Aveiro, and then the Teacher Training Center of Lowle. The teacher training centers are public structure connected with the Directorate General of Education of the Ministry of Education of Portugal, and that offers uh, training, professional training to the teachers, school teachers, and obviously the uh, organization that was implementing uh, transcendental meditation in Portugal. Uh, the organization responsible for implementation of, of transcendental meditation in Portugal. And these four partners working together as a team have been really crucial in the richness for Portugal and for the whole project. The other reason for the success for the, of this expansion could be also the synergy with other programs. With the, some school in the project was already part of a national program of the Ministry for um, uh, territory, uh, educational territory for, for intervention priority in English. It means for schools that are in disadvantaged uh, territory. And so the, this gave a great visibility to our, of our program uh, in, uh, at national level in Portugal. And also the participation, the school was part, were part also often of the UNESCO schools. And our project was presented uh, various time by our team in uh, uh, UNESCO regional or national meeting from Faro to Lisbon to Porto to recently to Madeira. Another very important feature that promoted this was the co constant interaction with the DGA, with the Directorate General. We have often their um, visits, uh, sometime in our partner meeting, in our conference, and we really want to thank Dr. Nadia Ferreira for being with us today and also for speaking at the conference. And uh, also another aspect is this 
the flexibility law that was launched recently by the Ministry of Education of Portugal that allows a certain autonomy in the curriculum to the school. This allowed and facilitated very much implementation of our program, Quiet Time with Transcendental Meditation, and also allowed some experiment uh, where we have maybe an entire class having, having the program with also more advanced um, instruction, more advanced technique. And then uh, also uh, coming back to the teacher training center, he, has, he had a very strong role in coordinating, in inspiring and coordinating many other teacher training center in the old Portugal. So we had three, uh, two teacher training centers from Algarve and also from Lisbona and the north participating. And a special feature has been that the, uh, the training in uh, transcendental meditation and quiet time has been given in Portugal from the teacher training center as a training, as a training accredited to the career of teachers. So all the teachers that have been formed in Portugal, trained in our program, has been through this center. And this also, we have to consider that our program is a whole school approach, so that involves all components of schools. And it, it, is, uh, it has a systematic approach. So we start with the principal and then the teacher. So those teachers that have been trained are always also the seeds for new implementation in new schools. So this was a kind of, we could say, multiplier. Also, the teacher training center of Lole organized in coordination with the partner uh, that uh, teaches transcendental meditation, the first face-to-face -face regional meeting of all the teachers that were implementing in different schools of Algarve this program. And this was a real, uh, very inspiring and, uh, uh, event. And also I want to emphasize again the role of the parent association that actually inspired the new parent association, like we will see here, we will, we will have the experience of one parent from the school uh, in uh, Quartera, in Algarve, and also a message from the director of the parent association in, the, in Oliao, in the Algarve, our partner parent association is from Apeja, and there is, uh, I, we feel really that the parents have a leading role in this moment in um, uh, promoting and inspiring uh, uh, innovation in education. And also have a precious role because parents will follow the children through their, um, through their um, path in the, evol in, uh, in the, um, uh, as you say, in the training, in different, through, from a school to this following school. And this could be accompanying and a guarantee for uh, having the program expanding to the following level of education. So this was some th thought about, uh, and so about some element that really speed up the expansion in Portugal. <laughs> then going to UK, uh, a special and very interesting feature of the implementation in UK was the involvement of the so-called alternative provision schools. These are schools in which actually um, the students that have been for any reason uh, excluded by the mainstream school are, um, are, are going. And the objective actually of this school is to just as soon as possible prepare the students so that he could come back again in, uh, in the mainstream school. So this is a particular feature of the educational system in the United Kingdom that um, required particular attention, especially in, for the teachers, there is much higher proportion of teachers in these schools than students. It's quite a stressful job, and actually teachers are one of the targets of our project. And so was given in UK very big attention to them, and we will hear later the experiences, a video with the experience of the principal and teachers of those schools. And also another interesting expansion element in new uh, fields. Uh, in, uh, in UK, there have been, uh, with sport, recently there have been uh, also connection with the organization that uh, work and use, use sport also for inclusion. And, yeah, and there have been uh, um, meeting and uh, possible trainings. So, so combining uh, quiet time transcendental meditation with sport. Going to Italy, 
uh, we had a partner municipality in Italy that brought the involvement also, we will see a presentation, the municipality of Sicilia of the youth council in the, problems, uh, in the uh, project. And also a special feature for expansion has been uh, in prison. We will see a, um, in the project in the second part, a very moving mid video about prisons. The, actually this expansion was possible through a private grant also an additional private grants but uh, we uh, there was a synergy between the friends project and this pro and this other grant because the friends also supported inspired supported and also uh, provided the test for the research for the and uh, or for the prisoners so we will see also the result of the research and then uh, in Belgium, beside uh, primary school in the Flemish side of Belgium, in the Flanders, and also uh, in the French part, there have been a very interesting expansion, uh, participation of a migrant organization uh, taking care, offering shelter to migrants. Uh, they not only participated to our project with the training of the staff and of migrants, but also at the idea to apply for a new grant to the uh, EU Solidarity Corps to organize meeting moment for migrants and young people in which to offer through also the synergy with the Friends Project, uh, the transcendental meditation and possibility also to practice together in moment of following up. So uh, this was about this past, the, a little bit the implementation and the expansion in new sector, the potential expansion for future in new sector. There was also doing project expansion in new country. We had projects starting in school in Spain that actually is a partner in the project, but was not a partner for implementation. Through the work of our uh, partner at Sofia and of the TM uh, organization uh, in, uh, in Spain. So he started the school in implementation in school, also in Germany. We had an expansion in Ireland, not only for school, but also with a connection between House of Color, the Organization for Migrants, and some international organization for um, people that has been unjustly treated by justice, so put in prison, but innocent. And then expansion also in Iceland. And in Romania, we, have a, we had an incredible conference uh, just a few weeks ago with the participation of 200 people in which the whole team of Portugal went to present the project, the Friends Project, uh, including a team including principal, uh, the university teacher, the teachers the, uh, of the school, the students. So, and I think this also gave development. I see all of them here in the hall, so we hope really that we can hear more in the part of the discussion of the conference about their, uh, their experience. And so um, I want to also mention another uh, that we felt was a very enriching aspect of this and it's peculiar of this project is this meeting together, this international face-to-face -face meeting of local learning communities. So I said that we had a regional one in uh, uh, in Algarve, but we had also, we organized conference in occasion of our partner meetings in Lisbon and also in UK. And this was the occasion from um, participants from a country to go to another country and also to reinforce uh, the local, the national community. So people was traveling from all Portugal to come to Lisbon, participating teachers and students, and also in UK, maybe from Sweden. So this meeting together really creates community, really creates exchange, exchange of experience, growing together, reinforce the inspiration. Inspiration is a great value. Uh, they discover more and more in education and in the learning. So, and, and it makes us grow as a community together. And to add to this, we had also two Zoom connections where the students of different schools um, in different countries were together connecting to meditate together. So uh, I just wanted to uh, give uh, the frame where you could see a little bit, we wanted to give the frame all the uh, experience of the people that will be speaking, especially in the second part. And I want to just, uh, we want as uh, implementation coordinator to really thank all the, implement, the incredible implementation team that have been working in Portugal, in Italy, in UK, in Belgium, many are present here. 
with great commitment and uh, professionality. And all the principal and teachers that participate and students, we know how busy our schools and their commitment to the program and to want it to try, to want to implement this innovation. It shows their love for their work and their students. And I think uh, we really thank them. And uh, this is the community that could be really the nucleus for creating an alliance for uh, inclusive schools. So thank you. Thank you.